right, chickens. I did some thrift shopping because I don't have enough button-up shirts that fit me, so hopefully these are going to fit. I'm going to try them on and try and style them. Don't do coffee, kids. It makes you disrespect your surroundings. I'm not bad at intros. You're bad at intros. Anyway, I know that I told you that I would show you some button-ups, but this is a sweater. Get used to disappointment. I bought it because my mother always told me that I had to wear a sweater before I left the house. Maybe now I'll see sunlight someday. I think it pairs rather well with these pants that I inherited from my uncle. What he lacked in fashion sense, he made up for in comfort. Oh my god, where did she come from? We get it, you put on a dress and then put the sweater over the dress. You're not doing a great job. To ease you into this whole button-up thing, I've got a shirt with some buttons, but that still does not qualify as a button-up. This whiskey Grandpa Henley inspires full confidence in the wearer, and may even lead to some light dancing, but will then lead to immediate disinterest and leaving. Alright, I know I promised you button-ups, so get ready for the first button-up. I don't know who needs to hear this, but sometimes it's okay to roll up looking like a daytime manager at Chili's. This particular shirt is obviously a little small and does not seem to inspire much joy. Listen, it's okay to be disappointed in your clothing purchases. Speaking of Chili's, my first job was working at a Chili's as a hostess. I was in high school and I was not prepared for the intricate levels of drama that would permeate the Chili's hierarchy. I would come to work and people would be yelling at each other in the kitchen about stuff that somebody said about somebody else, and I was just trying to get people their menus. Sorry I got real heated over my sordid Chili's past. Since this isn't really working in a modern sense for me, I've decided to pair this button up with a skirt that I made, because if you can't make it work modern, make it work vintage. Did you hear that little humble brag about how I made this skirt? I only said it so that I could show you that I put pockets in it. That's right, this skirt has pockets, that's the point of this whole video. And while it may not be as cool as heirloom pants, the pockets in this bad boy can totally fit up to 12 Snickers bars. That's three bags of potato chips per pocket. Sorry if I made you jealous over those sweet pockets. In penance, the heirloom pants are back, and this sweater is not very flattering, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. It has this detail on it that I was attracted to at first, and then I put it on, and I didn't like the way that I looked in it. I could wallow in pity over my low self-esteem, but instead I'm just going to ignore it, because looks don't matter. I really hope that I didn't oversell the button-ups because this sweater's back, but I put it on over a dress thinking that it would help. Also, this dress also has pockets. This dress has pockets. Remember that detail I showed you earlier? Well, I didn't. At this point, I knew that the sweater really wasn't working, so I tried to sell on the dress. When that didn't work, I decided to do some rapid-fire modeling poses. If you model fast enough, nobody can critique you on what you got wrong. And then you just leave before they figure out what it was. Whoa, who's this guy? Scullery wench on a pirate ship, am I right? And those pockets are back. This actual shirt did very little for me because it was too tight. There was also a detail on the front that was trying to achieve something that I absolutely could not fathom. Get it? Pirate ship? Fathom? Did you know that 3.14% of sailors are actually pirates? I love the Dread Pirate Roberta vibes of this outfit, and I absolutely think that a female Wesley would wear this, and maybe not yet have their sea legs. I'll see myself out. Of course I saved the best for last, and if that sounds like I've been holding you hostage, then I recommend you figure out how to use the skip button. The best part about this button-up is that it's a button-up. The second best part is that it actually fits. It looks really good with this pinafore that I made after watching The Queen's Gambit obsessively twice in a row. 
I don't know if you've noticed this, but on the side of this pinafore, you'll be able to see that I've added some pockets. That's right, I tricked you into watching me wear a dress with pockets again. Turns out I like all my dresses to have pockets, so I started making dresses and then I put pockets in them. I could have like five Toblerones in my pocket and you'd never be able to tell. Anyway, I forgot to film an outro to this, so would you like to have a dance contest? I'll start.